The James Webb Space Telescope, often known as the Webb Telescope or JWST, is an orbiting infrared observatory launched as part of an international collaboration between NASA, the Canadian and the European Space Agency to complement and expand Hubble Space Telescope findings. The telescope observes the Earth in infrared wavelengths, allowing a closer look into space to study the universe's first stars and galaxies that emerged after the Big Bang. Infrared radiation also makes visible stars and planetary systems develop within dust clouds that would otherwise be opaque. If you have recently seen some stunning photographs of space, you've most likely come across the work of the James Webb Telescope. The latest news on the JWST suggests that it just got hit by a mysterious structure. Has this occurrence caused significant damage to the telescope? Is the era of the JWST about to end? Let's find out. Before we delve deeper into the happenings in space, let's tell you more about this great telescope, one of the greatest innovations in history. The telescope was a costly undertaking that cost NASA $9.7 billion over 24 years. The actual spacecraft development cost about $8.8 .8 billion, with an extra $861 million budgeted for five years of operations. It was designed to aid scientists in their hunt for the earliest galaxies generated after the cosmos was born and in studying the history of these galaxies. On December 25, 2021, the Webb Telescope was launched from Ariana Space's ELA-3 launch facility at a spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. The telescope began its 29-day million-mile trek to the second Lagrange point. It was launched aboard an Ariane 5 rocket, which was part of the European Space Agency's commitment to the project. The Webb Telescope orbits the Sun 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, known as the second Lagrange point. This contrasts with the Hubble Space Telescope, which circles the Earth in low orbit. Lagrange points are locations in space where the gravitational forces of a two-body system, such as the Sun and Earth, generate heightened zones of attraction and repulsion. NASA may utilize five total Lagrange points as parking sites in orbit for spacecraft to stay in a stable location with low fuel usage. NASA also believed that the L2 point is a good location for the Webb Telescope because it is near enough to Earth for accessible communication, gives a clear view of deep space for Webb, and can keep the Sun, Earth and Moon behind the telescope for solar power. But how does it do such remarkable observing? A total of 18 hexagonal mirror segments, each measuring 4.3 feet or 1.32 meters in diameter, make up the primary mirror of Webb, which has a total diameter of 21 feet 4 inches, that's 6.5 meters. When compared to the primary mirror of the Hubble Space Telescope, which is just 7.8 feet or 2.4 meters in diameter, Webb's mirror is substantially giant. Webb's secondary mirror is just 0.7 feet or 0.24 meters in diameter. Webb's mirror uses actuators, in addition to its unique form, to collect light from very far away. The mirror can concentrate on distant objects thanks to actuators, which are small mechanical motors. Light from distant galaxies billions of light years away may be measured using the scope. The six actuators on the rear of each mirror segment enable the mission crew to gently and precisely adjust Webb's field of vision. Webb's mirror segments may have a gold placing, but they are not constructed of actual gold. In reality, they're made out of the lightweight and durable metal beryllium. On Earth, the average weight of a mirror is roughly 46 pounds. According to the NASA statement, beryllium is very sturdy yet relatively light. It can also maintain its form in the extremely frigid temperatures in which Webb will need to function. Gold, in fact, has the maximum reflectivity throughout a broad spectrum of wavelengths, which explains its remarkable properties. Webb's mirrors are believed to reflect 98% of incoming photons, making them the most reflecting mirrors ever created. Speaking of which, let's go back to how the JWST was hit by a mysterious object. 
News has it that a pebble-sized object damaged the brand new James Webb Space Telescope's primary mirror. The micrometeoroid's impact has had a visible impact on the observatory's data. Still, the damage is not anticipated to hinder the mission's overall functioning. The analysis shows that one of the 18 beryllium gold tiles that make up Webb's primary reflector, which is 6.5 meters wide, was hit. NASA said that the touch had created a dimple in the portion. Due to the high velocities at which objects travel in space, even the tiniest particles may transfer a significant amount of energy upon impact. At this point, the most recent five attacks on Webb are the most consequential. Although NASA has said that more analysis and measurements are still underway, it seems that the first photographs or the subsequent research program will be insignificant. Since the damage section may be compensated for by adjusting any of the other 18 mirrors, this is the case. Webb has been hit before, so this isn't the first time. According to NASA, Goddard's Webb Optical Telescope Element Manager, Lee Feinberg, since launch, we have experienced four smaller quantifiable micrometeoroid impacts that were consistent with expectations and one more recent one that is greater than our deterioration projections predicted. This flight data will further study Webb's performance over time and create operating strategies for maximizing the telescope's imaging capabilities for many years. According to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center's Technical Deputy Project Manager in Greenbelt, Maryland, we always knew that the JWST would have to survive the space environment, which includes powerful ultraviolet rays and charged particles from the sun, cosmic rays from exotic sources in the galaxy, and periodic strikes by micrometeoroids within our solar system. Paul Geithner We developed web with plenty of room for error, optical, thermal, electrical and mechanical, so it can continue carrying out its hefty research mission long after it is launched into orbit. Even though the impact was more significant than predicted by NASA's models used to design Webb, dust-sized particles traveling at high speeds are included. Nonetheless, it was also noted that despite this, Webb's early results are still far better than predicted. Unlike previous space telescopes such as Hubble, Webb's mirrors are not enclosed in a tubular baffle. Instead, the reflectors are shielded from the sun by a single massive sun shield which keeps them at the constant frigid temperatures necessary for detecting infrared radiation. Micrometeoroid impacts were expected, therefore, safeguards were built into the telescope's design, from the components to how it operates. Engineers may compensate for some of the induced distortions by shifting the location of the damaged mirror section. Webb is now doing near and far-field observations of the universe to prove its capabilities. Scientists will use Webb over the course of several years to attempt to see the earliest stars to shine in the universe some 13.5 billion years ago, to determine whether distant planets have potentially comfortable atmospheres, they will also direct the telescope's large eye in that direction. Does the JWST stand a chance in space with more possible attacks on the way? Share your thoughts in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.